Welcome back. Now, the Little Museum in Dublin is always a fun place to visit due to its quirky and thought-provoking exhibitions. But it was the title of its current exhibition that grabbed our Laura's attention. What's She Doing Here is a celebration of women at work over the past 100 years. Here's how Laura got on. What's she doing here? What a wonderful name for an exhibition. Catherine, tell us about it. Yes, yeah, so this exhibition is all about inspirational and strong women who have overcome many barriers and obstacles in order to succeed in often male-dominated and very interesting careers. The exhibition was inspired by Betta's book, A Woman's Work. We were able to include a historical context and show what these uh, careers would have looked like for women a hundred years ago. What has feedback been like? Because I see beautiful clipboards full of art from little people. We're so delighted that so many kids have got involved by drawing a picture of what they would like to be whenever they're older. And we've had some amazing responses. There was one drawing of a girl who um, said, along with her sister, she wanted to cure cancer. Um, we had one little girl who wanted to be a pig farmer when she's older. So uh, there's a huge range of responses. And I do think it's inspired by the photographs that are on the walls. We've included not only people who are excelling in science and finance and professional careers. We've also included truck drivers, farmers and sports people. Stephanie, pleasure to meet you this morning at this wonderful exhibition. And of course, you're taking centre stage because you're part of it. When I found out it was going to be in the exhibition, it was just, it really was, it was an honour for me and I really am humbled by it because, as you say, there are so many really fantastic women up on the walls at the minute. And what we're doing here as well is that we're showing that women can do whatever they want and young girls can aspire to be whatever they want. And it's not just, no, that's for boys. It's you can do whatever you put your mind to and whatever you find interesting. Looking at your portrait here today, uh, what I love about your particular picture is that you're smiling and you seem very happy. And yet at the same time, there's a certain defensive posture, like you're ready for battle. Yeah, I think that's the idea behind it as well, is that women are fearless, you know, and you want to be fierce in your photos as well. And I think for a footballer, you have to have the right mentality, I suppose. And, and in, the, in the photo that's taken, we had a few takes that day. I always remember it was freezing as well. So it was kind of like we were trying to get the right, the right image, I suppose, to portray in the, in the exhibition and in the book. So, yeah, it's, it's a good photo. Thank God it turned out OK. And, and, and bet I got my, my good side. <laughs> I have to say you are used to being uh, in a good photo. So just talking about that iconic photo taken, that we were trying to think back there, taken in January 2015, of course, of Ronaldo and Messi looking on at you. And that became such an iconic photo for so many reasons. Were you surprised at the reaction? Yeah, definitely. I think I've, I've talked about this photo so many times and just about how it was basically just me trying to get by them as fast as I could because there were so many cameras and photographers and people taking pictures. And it's funny because every time we look at it, I talk to Dean and my boyfriend and we're just like, you can see him in the background and I just leave him because I'm like, I'm not like falling over or being in front of cameras like all the time. So I was literally just trying to get past as fast as I could. And it obviously looks like I'm turning my head away from them. But obviously I was obviously in awe of them as well. They're both two fantastic footballers and great to be in, in their company as well. But Turning our attention to the women's soccer team, and of course you're injured at the moment. How are you feeling? How are you getting on? How's rehab? Um, it's good, yeah. I had my brace off yesterday, so I'm kind of I'm on the on the mend, I hope. I had a bike session, so I was kind of waiting to see how that goes and how it reacts to that. So so hopefully I can be back up and running. And it was disappointing not to be a part of the squad the last few weeks with the, the two qualifiers, but I was in and around the girls and I, I got to kind of to be part of it in a, a little way, but it's not the same when you're not playing and on the pitch. So. I think there's sort of a tangible movement that you can feel and you can sense now um, just with everything else that's going on in this country and not to get political but as you're noticing there are more and more people men and women turning up to the matches and that's so important yeah definitely i think even just as we said here today just for for young girls to be able to see that people are actually interested in in, in women's football and and showing some respect to it because a lot of the girls as i said work hard and they work as hard and at times I mean I play in England and we'd be in training more than the men at times so I mean we put in a lot of work and be able to have crowds watching us and I suppose support and it gives you that extra push when you are in training when things aren't going well it just gets you up and gives you that little boost and I think that's something that that we haven't really had before and I think obviously the last two games have been record sellouts and our record uh, attendances so I think it's it's important for us to have that and as I said if people can come again in June we play June 8th I think it is at home so to have that crowd again will be will be amazing. Betta, we've got you to thank for this wonderful exhibition, What's She Doing Here at the Little Museum in Dublin, because of course it was inspired by your book, A Woman's Work. Tell us how you came up with the concept. 
Well, about three years ago, my friend photographer in Czech Republic asked me to participate on an exhibition called Women and Beauty. And I started to explore what beauty means in front of my camera, in front of my lens. And uh, for me, obviously, it's not what we wear, how we look, what kind of makeup we have, but what we do, what makes us human beings and what makes us passionate. Their life stories are really important uh, for this whole collection. And many of them have very, very interesting life stories because they had to overcome obstacles in order to be able to do what they are doing. And in 21st century, women still have to overcome obstacles uh, to be able to do what they would love to do. When I die and my daughters go through the drawers of my work, I really want them to see uh, the picture of a woman who does something and who is amazing for what she does. I suppose to a woman who just wear certain clothes. You're making me teary now, I'm getting going emotional. <laughs> but which few photos stood out for you? It was always women who have very strong life stories. So for example, this photograph of Lisa Levins, um, she's a lifeboat navigator, the lifeboat, lifeboat saver, or Nikki Collier, this woman there, uh, the felt designer, she uh, is making clothes and accessories with just one hand uh, and she's selling worldwide and she has now a collection in British Museum. So stories like this, they are just extraordinary. And the exhibition, What She Doing Here? Women at Work from 1918 to 2018 continues at the Little Museum of Dublin until June 10th.